Good afternoon, good morning, good day, depending on where you're listening from. Welcome to Profit and Beauty. Now, this show was created for salon owners who have decided to start running their salons like a business rather than a hustle. The focus of the show is to help salon owners understand the numbers behind their business so that they can grow and make extraordinary profits. Without this knowledge, it's really hard, if not impossible, for your salon to reach its true potential. My name is Desiree Anderson, and I have 19 years experience as a hairstylist and salon owner. I currently work as a certified public accountant, working mainly with salon owners and hairstylists. My background as a former stylist and salon owner gives me a much better understanding of what our industry professionals need and desire. So if you are a hairstylist or salon owner interested in running your salon like a business, then this show is for you. On the other hand, if you are a hairstylist or salon owner not interested in running your salon like a business, this show may or may not be for you. I just hope you keep listening and maybe something you hear in one of the episodes will make you decide to turn your craft from a hustle into a business that you can scale and grow. So sit back and enjoy this week's episode. Hello everyone and welcome back to Profit and Beauty. I hope you all had a great holiday and an even better new year. Now, I know I'm a little late wishing you guys a happy new year, but I've been quite busy playing catch up after being off for the past almost three weeks. And with tax season starting in a few days, or really it's it's, it's already started, I am definitely going to have my plate full. Now, speaking about tax season, now I don't really have a topic for this particular show. I just wanted to hop on to let you guys know about the contest I have going on through January 15th. So for the next couple of days, which only gives you a couple of days to participate if you're interested. Okay, so what's this contest about? Now, the name of the contest is Do It Yourself Bookkeeping Package Giveaway Contest for Booth Renters and Salon Suite Owners. Now, this is exclusively for booth renters and salon suite owners. Now, in this contest, I'm going to be giving away my Do It Yourself Package. Now, with my do-it-yourself package, I'm going to set up your entire bookkeeping system using QuickBooks Self-Employed. Now, the reason why this contest is going to be exclusive to booth renters and to salon suite owners is because normally QuickBooks Self-Employed normally fits better with individuals who are either independent contractors, booth renters, and sometimes salon suite owners. Now, I have seen actual salon owners use QuickBooks Self-Employed, but you have to have a pretty simple business where your transactions aren't that complicated in order for QuickBooks Self-Employed to be the right solution for your business. Okay, so back to the contest. Once your system is set up, I'm going to provide you with a two-day training to show you how to use QuickBooks Self-Employed to do your own bookkeeping. Now, why this is important is because As booth renters or salon suite owners or even really small salon owners or independent contractors, you may not have enough money to pay an accountant or a bookkeeper to keep your books on a monthly basis. Now, as you know, I'm always preaching how important it is for you to to, um, track your income and expenses. So even if you can't afford an accountant on a monthly basis, You can do your own bookkeeping and that is where I come in. I am going to train you and show you how you can do your own bookkeeping using QuickBooks Self-Employed. And honestly, it is not that complicated once I set things up for you to sort of run automatically and then you're just going to be the vessel that keeps what I did going. Now, three months after your training, which, which means three months after the contest, I'm going to do a free check-in. Now, during the check-in, I'm going to perform a deep dive into your books just to make sure that you are on the right track and that all of your transactions have been properly recorded. Now, why is this important? It's important because one of the main reasons why businesses have to, of course, maintain their books or should maintain maintain their books is is because we we need to either create reports that we are going to give to a third party to look at 
or we need to we need to use these same reports to make decisions. So if the information going into the system is not put in correctly, or if the system itself is not set up correctly, then the reports that are spit out by your software are going to be completely useless. Now, I know you've all heard the saying, garbage in, garbage out. And that definitely applies here. So in order for your reports to be relevant to yourself as a, de as a decision maker or relevant to the third party you give it to, being your accountant, being a loan officer, or for whatever reason you have to give, th give these reports out to someone, you want to make sure that those reports are, in, um, are accurate. And now you know I always tell you how important it is to track your income and your expenses no matter how big or no matter how small of a business you are because if you don't know what's coming into your business and if you don't know what's going out then you cannot make decisions and if you don't have reports to show third parties then there is nothing that we can do for you me as an accountant I'm going to need to know what you made and what you spent in order for me to, to prepare your taxes if you are buying a house, the, the loan officer is going to want to see how much you made and how much you spent. They're going to want to uh, see whether or not you can afford the house that you're about to purchase. If you have a child who's going to college and you want to apply for FAFSA, FAFSA is going to want to see your tax return. So as you can see, no matter what you're trying to do, somebody is going to want to see your income, and your expenses. So it is very important as business owners that we track our income and our expenses, whether you're a booth renter, salon suite owner, or a large salon corporation. Now, in addition to all of that, you're also going to receive free access to two of my on-demand e-courses. The first one is tax savings for the beauty industry. And that one is coming soon. I'm still working on that one. And the second e-course is QuickBooks Self-Employed for the booth renter and the salon suite owner. Now, the QuickBooks Self-Employed is a step-by-step video tutorial showing you how to set up QuickBooks Self-Employed and how to use it. So in addition to having me set everything up for you and train you for two days, I'm also going to give you my video that's about maybe three and a half to four hours long showing you how to utilize and how to set QuickBooks Self-Employed up. Now, the reason why this is important is because even after I train you, you're going to forget. You're not going to remember everything that I said, or you're going to probably get to a point where you're going to get stuck okay well with my e-course you can actually go back and you can look through the list because the way that I recorded it I recorded every single process in QuickBooks self-employed I ha has its own individual recording so if you're having an issue with the mileage a portion of QuickBooks self-employed or with estimated taxes portion or with a home office portion you can actually use that e-course as a reference you can go back look for the area that you're, that you're having a hard time with watch it and it should help you get over the hump so if you'd like to participate in this contest, you can go to profitandbeauty.com and click on the link that says beauty contest. So the link that says beauty contest is going to be under this particular episode, which I believe is episode 17. So you're going to go to episode 17 and then click on the link that says beauty contest. Or you can visit my website at accountantsforhairstylist.com. That's accountants, the number four, hairstylist. Dot com and then click on the tab that says Instagram. Once you click on the tab that says Instagram, there's going to be a link there that's going to direct you to the actual contest. Okay, so I hope most of you participate in the contest. If not, that's okay. I still love you and I'll speak with you on my next podcast. Have a great day, everyone.